Remember those awesome quadratics from the algebra section? They can be used to graph a special type of line called a parabola. That x squared is what gives away the fact that it makes a parabola. Think of it this way. If we had the simple equation y equals x squared, then y would be the square of any x value. Now remember, when we square a negative number, we get the same answer as if it was a positive number. 4 squared and negative 4 squared both equal 16. So parabolas are symmetrical, and that's what makes them easy to use. Drawing parabolas from equations is easy. Let's use the quadratic. y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. Like with linear equations, that lonely number on the end is the constant and tells us the y-intercept, which here we can see is y equals 8. Let's mark that on the graph. We can find the x-intercepts by factorising the quadratic. There are two x-intercepts because of the symmetry of the parabola. Remember, we factorise by finding two numbers that add up to make negative 6 and multiply to make 8. Negative 4 and negative 2 do that perfectly. We write down the simplified quadratic. Here's the fun part. The x-intercepts occur when y equals 0. Our x-intercepts are positive 4 and positive 2. If we plug either of those numbers in the equation, then y will equal 0, which means the points are on the x-axis. Check it for yourself. We mark these points on the graph. We need to find one more point, which is called the vertex or turning point of the parabola. This is the bottom of the bowl of the parabola. Because of its symmetry, we know that the vertex is going to be smack bang between the x-intercepts. The midpoint between 2 and 4 is 3. If we plug x equals 3 into our equation, we get y equals negative 1. So our vertex is at 3, negative 1. Let's mark that in. Time to carefully draw a smooth curve that represents our parabola. You should be aware that a quadratic with a negative x squared will create an upside down parabola. We'd have the same parabola as before, but flipped, with the x-intercepts staying the same. Let's briefly look at an exponential graph as well. A simple exponential graph has the equation y equals 2 to the power of x. The 2 has an exponent of x. For a simple exponential graph like this, there is no x-intercept. The y-intercept is 1 because any number with x equals 0 as an exponent is equal to 1. Try it on a calculator if you don't believe me. As positive x values get bigger, y gets really, really big and the graph curves up quickly. As negative x gets smaller, y gets really tiny, but never quite reaches zero. Play around with the numbers and you'll find some really interesting relationships. Remember, a quadratic produces a parabola. The constant is the y-intercept. Factorize the quadratic to find the x-intercepts. The x value of the vertex is between the x-intercepts. Use it to find the y value of the vertex. Negative quadratics produce upside down parabolas. Exponential graphs grow really big in the positive direction and really tiny in the negative direction.